Oh, we robbing you! I ain't Batman or Robin, but I might be Robin with a Batman. So what is good? So what is good for episode eight? The face show, episode eight. Eight on the eighth, baby. That's how we do it. Now lately, few people have been wondering what happened to seven. Seven's gonna be up. Seven's gonna be up, and you're probably gonna, gonna be see up. seven before this. But let me tell you what happened. My computer got all virus stuff right when I was gonna release it. Now I can't access the file until the virus is taken care of. We just gotta buy a new antivirus. But it's Christmas time, as you all know, and, and money is money is a little tight. Up Christmas. But I will promise you to get that out as soon I as possible. I hope you all get high. Now, um, crazy things today, man. I I think uh, we're both about to commit to ecstasy. See, you, what he's doing right now? Excellent, see, he said. He's right. slurring a little bit. He's not feeling well. No, no, I'm a little off, a little off. Did get a little too drunk in the club, and then drunk in my house the next day. And Friday night, me, Friday night. And that left me weak. Friday night, the face show made an appearance. We yeah. hung out with my man CJ from the real world. Where was he? Cancun. 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 Big up to CJ, real world Cancun. Uh, Thanks for getting this guy fucked up. Yeah. The CJ and I was taking some pictures with some with some lady friends. So, there you, you know, if you, if you happen to figure out where we were that night, you can go on the website of the, the place we were at and take a look at some pictures. Now, yeah, yeah, he shouldn't have given me the bio, so he didn't know me very well. And I chugged most of it. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and that's... It's that's okay, that, though. It's okay. That's all right. That's all right. You know, you want to tell him how you went on autopilot out? How you uh, autopilot all right, out? all right. Now, I swear to God, we're going to have ourselves a serious DWI type show and it's gonna come soon but that's not this show so okay see I think it's a combination of a couple of things I was broke dollar drinks dollar drinks I was broke got some dollar drinks did uh did like seven or eight mixed drinks then went up and got five beers at the buzzer um and, and, I, and I didn't chug those five beers those are my five beers for the rest of the night they lasted me pretty good we knew we knew who the Shvetka vodka girl yeah. Right. So you were grabbing shots just. Yeah, she kept every giving time them she to walked me. by. It was I, like, I would say no. I'd be like no, no. So she's like no, you can have it. I was like all right. She's like you know you want one. How, how am I supposed to say no to that? And they were free. We we'll give a shout out. Shout out to Mandy, the Shvetka Vodka girl. You know. Uh, she we, happens to be part of the fam anyway. But uh, we we knew others. We knew others uh, also there. But she wasn't giving out no free drinks. Shot girl. She was trying to get paid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Trying to get paid. But uh, you know the bar kept tossing me free drinks and and uh, and then we had the girls on the bar were were giving you drinks out the bottle, straight out the bottle, pouring it in your mouth. They yeah, they kept doing right. that. See, and all the free and then that's it. Now that's the And then time. CJ came along, and handed you a bottle. bottle. That was the tipping point, by the way, guys. Woo! Now, at the same time, this cold, I think, was starting to kick in that night because of the alcohol. And when, when my immune system gets fucked with, you know what I'm saying? When I start to get sick, drink. My, uh, <laughs> my tolerance goes a little haywire. Because I, I'll start off the night with my normal fat man tolerance, which is more than the average bear. Let's put it like that. And, uh, and when, I, when I drink, I might... You know, and I start to get sick. My tolerance might, in the middle of the night, go to like it's like Superman with some kryptonite in him. One second he can stop that bullet, and the next second, without anybody telling him, he just got shot. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's that's what happened to me. So I got a little drunk and crazy the other night. Uh, my alternate personality there is uh, autopilot out. He's a uh, yeah. I don't let him out that much. He he's the Hulk to my me being Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. And, uh, yeah, he's a crazy motherfucker. This guy will tell you the stories. I, I wasn't there for him. My man passed out in the car right at home. I found the french fries all over the fucking car the next day. I get in the car, and I'm like, what's that? Ooh, that smell! Uh, that I was like, what's that stank in here? French fries all over the fucking floor. But we had a good time. It was crazy. There was... There was Dancers on a bar. They had a dance competition Titties later. All over the place. Titties came out. Ladies, ladies, ladies didn't even wear a bras. 
They didn't wear a bras to the club that no, night. You know what? It was they didn't have the bras on in the club that night. They left them in the car. They left the panties in the car. Now, I, I'll tell you Woo! what. It was now, crazy. Not you should have came out with us. You should have came you out. You should have came out. If you didn't come out with us, it's your fault. It's you'll your never fault. get that time back. That's a lack of moral responsibility That's on right. your part. You'll but never let, get that time back. But let me tell you something. Now, we're not suckers. That was just a phenomenal night. That place was caught. Let me, let me explain. Compared to all the clubs in the area, that place was dead. But it wasn't. It was. It was, you know, compared to the other clubs. Right. It was, a, I would say... Well, I don't like a place that you can't move that you go around. around. You can't fucking move around. It was at 50% capacity, let's put it like that, which made it lounge status. That's right. the best way to describe there you it. Go. And uh, they had good drinks. And somehow, bro, and the bar was feeding me free beer. I was trashed. Apparently, I bought somebody a beer and took it back. But I didn't have money. I ran out of money long this before kid that. This kid bought, bought a drink. For a girl, right? Friend of mine, friend of mine. <laughs> for a girl. And somehow he ended up back with the damn thing. Because this, is, this guy right here. Apparently, I bought her a beer. She doesn't drink beer, but I was drunk. I knew that if I was, if I had done it like an hour earlier, I would have ordered her the, her mixed drink, right? I'd been doing it all night. We'd been going back and forth buying each other drinks. So it was just my turn. But I don't know how I did that. First, I ran out of money an hour ago. Whatever. Secondly, you know, se and then secondly, this guy's like, yeah, um, look, Albert, after I handed her the beer, she does a drink, you know, and then I, he's like, look, Albert, she bought you a beer, and it's still cold, so is that what you told me, you fuck? And then I immediately, you up, Dad. That's all. and then I immediately, I was so excited, and I took it and drank it, because, not even realizing it was a beer he had just bought. What did she say? Did she find it hilarious? Did she, or did she yeah, think she I was being an ass? She was laughing asshole. at you. Because I fell for it. Because you were bombed, bro. I was done. And then, and then you know, Autopilot Al comes on, and it's towards the end of the night. We're about to leave, and I look over at this guy, and he's laying his back down with three, three ladies. Three yeah. ladies. Three ladies were ready to go home with this kid. Yeah, oops. Sorry, baby. Now, I told her about it. She th thought it was funny. She's like, you didn't hook up with him, did you? I was like, nah, 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 that didn't happen. No, I never made it to the car. Because there was titties on the bar. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's you know, I, I, you know, but, uh, yeah, man, it happens. And that's that's the type of fun we like to have um, on our nights out, you know what I'm that's saying? It, that's when it. When the face show goes out, the face show you know, goes out. You know, we get a little crazy. We get a little crazy. Got some, got some celebs out with us, and, you know, that's, that's how, how we do roll. It. We that's just like to have it. a good time. Nobody gets hurt. There Nobody you gets, you know, DWIs yeah, you know, most of the time. Uh, they out, hey, hey, there was that one time, but was that, that one was time? bullshit. I went around the block when you, on a blinking light, the light wasn't even fucking out. It just blinked off for a few, little while. I tapped that motherfucker. I'd like right to say back. something. I'd like to say something. I, I made an announcement on my Facebook the other day. You know, I want to, I want to read it for everybody. What the announcement was, uh, right here. I'm gonna read it word for word for you clear everything up. It says, so I've been noticing as of lately that my phone has received more texts and calls than usual from lady friends. Just because you're alone and cold during the holidays does not mean I want to do charity work. I already gave to Toys for Tots this year. Try me in 2010. You might have better luck, ladies. Okay. No. Don't be coming around. Don't be coming around all of a sudden two weeks before Christmas, wanting to fucking hang out with me. You've been an asshole to me for the past two fucking months, okay, or all fucking year long, and all of a sudden now you're single during the holidays, and, and all your girlfriends, they all have fucking boyfriends, and fiancés, and husbands. Do not call me. I was not that guy for you last year. I'm not that guy this year. I will never be that guy. Okay. So do not fucking call me. I am not alone, I am not lonely, and I sure as hell ain't cold. I'm wearing a tank top right now in the middle of winter, bitch. That's how we do it. Keep your cold ass at home. Now. Frigid bitch. There you go. And there's not one of you. I'm not, I'm not talking to one of you. Talking, he's talking to all of you, bitch. This is a good All bitch. of you, bitch. <laughs> no, this is an easy and he's not, even, he's not even going to correct that I said bitches <laughs> either. Because, ah, uh, nah, I love Hey, look, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Now there's, you ain't there's an easy right five. Now. There's an easy five. They call me alone. They call me. They call me yesterday alone. All right. Five. Now, now five of you that I haven't fucking hung out with. Okay. 
in at least two to three months. At least two to three months. Yo, Don't happened. fucking call me. Yo, what the happens. fuck I want from you? Now, now. Nothing that I didn't already get from you. Ha, ha. Ha. Okay? And obviously, if I'm not still getting it from you, I don't want it from you. All right, but sometimes, sometimes on a, on a fucking random Tuesday when it's raining out or snowing, you might need that little tickle. You know I what got, I'm hey, look. I'm just saying. I'm growing as an individual. I'm, <laughs> I'm moving on, son. I'm not trying to do the same old thing I was doing fucking two months uh, ago. All right, now, now that... I'll slow down and let these motherfuckers catch up. Uh, they, you want me to no. slow down and let y'all catch up? I'll slow down and let y'all catch up, okay? Nah. 50 said it. Now, uh, you know what, though? You know what? Let's talk about something topical. Let's be topical for a second. All right, topical. Let's talk about Tiger Woods. Fucking my Speaking of man. Holes. Speaking of holes. My man, Nine Tiger holes. Nine holes. Woods. Woo! And, and you didn't think listen. he was a pimp. My man wears golf clothes and still fucks bitches, That's bro. That's right. Now listen, now listen, what he did was deplorable. And people say this is going to ruin his career, it's going to ruin his life. It will fuck up his personal life. And for a while, it'll mess up his professional life. Meaning endorsement deals. For this week. But he's a brand name. And fucking cigarettes are a brand name and they kill people. Beer's a brand <laughs> name. And they fucking kill Tiger people. Tiger Woods is a brand and name. name. And he it just fucks up. That's right. That's and it. it. That's it. You know, the only mistake my man made was getting married. That, that was pretty we much it. We understand he wanted to make his dad happy. He was, you know, he, then his dad passed away. He was like, you know what? He was like, fuck this. I've never had a chance to live. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know what? He was he was a, a dog all of a sudden out, off his leash. I can't blame him. You can't blame him. I, I understand, man. He fell, he fell in. But, but he fell into the trappings of the life. But this is what I'm going to say. People are like, oh, he should come clean about if he was high or on alcohol. First off, his crazy ex-wife doesn't get to have, I mean, soon-to-be ex-wife, doesn't get to <laughs> have an opinion if he was drunk behind the wheel when she's chasing him with fucking golf clubs. He could have been trashed, but fleeing for your life tends to change a man. And he had black eyes that were not conducive to the car accident. But whatever. I say, some I think he, he got the crazy. black eyes before he jumped yeah, in the car yeah, and tried yeah, to get away. I, that's what I'm saying. That but, was the getaway car. But that was the getaway car. That was the getaway it. car. My but, man did not make it. But, but the smartest he thing he it. did, because if I was that smart, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mine. See, they, maybe I would have. I would have. I probably would have killed the bitch. Honestly, I would, yeah, but I would the have scene, back that, at her. Nobody's talking about that. Right. That crazy, and I think this is an important point. Everybody's, this shows you, everybody's pointing a finger on him. What this about shows this crazy you, ass white hoe. This show, yeah, but this shows you his the type of person he is. He may be a despicable cheater, maybe, but he is not a wife beater. And <laughs> technically, legally, that bitch was trying to kill him. That's he had right. the right to he beat the fuck out could, of her. He could have smacked. I'll be right back. Hold on. He could have. There's something. It's 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 a phrase. It's a terminology. He could. I'll be right back. What could he have done? What could he have done? What could he have done? Um, Tell me what. Smack a hoe. That's what he could have done. Now smack he, a, he could have smacked the hoe, ladies and gentlemen. Bomb! But we don't advocate violence. And this is my point. He was the bigger man. That bitch was crazy and coming after him and shit. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't resort to violence. He ran away. You know why he ran away? Because he didn't want it to get out. Well, Which is why she was beating his ass. Because he was fucking with all the moles. Well, that was part of it. But no, no, no. But that yeah. plus he was afraid of her because she was fucking nuts at that point. She was not crazy but white girl. Women, but let me explain something. And this is not case by case. This every obviously there are women that are stronger than dudes and dudes that are stronger. Most dudes are stronger than women. But women don't realize how strong that the, take the skinniest, scrawniest kid you know. Take a flyweight Mexican. Have you seen them in a boxing ring? Them motherfuckers are nasty. They'll cut you up. My point is. <laughs> Chew up. They will. No, they will. Ass knuckles. Exactly. They will cut you. They will punch you five times before you even swung a punch, and they'll cut you up at the same time. But my point is, even what would and if you looked at him on the street, you would think he was a scrawny, you know, Mexican kid, and he wouldn't have anything. You know, he couldn't even fight. But but my point is, even the weakest dudes are surprisingly a lot stronger. Women don't realize how much stronger we really are. No, nah, they don't. Because as males, we, we're supposed to hold back. 
Right, restraint. Restraint. It, we're taught this as children. We were supposed to be taught this as children. And I don't believe in hitting women. I'm just saying, legally, if that bitch was really in a fit of... If, this is all alleged, by the way. This is all alleged. But if she was really in a fit of jealous rage and anger and, you know, feeling the betrayal and she was really chasing him with that golf club, trying to kill his ass, legally, she hit him first. That's, that's a fight. And the you know, self defense is still self defense in this country. True. Hey, hey, feminists, way to go on uh, on making sure women are just the same. I think that was one you could have left alone. <laughs> you were actually a su you were actually in the superior bracket than men on that one. But no, nah, no, nah. and that that brings me to something else. Women feminism is a perfect example of what certain people view as equality versus non-equality. This is what I mean. Alright, sure, feminism has lost certain things that women had that were superior to men. One of them being, you know, dudes aren't supposed to hit chicks. Dudes aren't supposed to open doors for women. These are good things that women had on a superior status to men. Dudes don't have vaginas. You know, but, this, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Uh, due to feminism, those attributes have been lost. Chivalry, yeah, for example. You know what I mean? But but that's one thing. I gotta be honest with you. My chivalry is going out the door. With each crazy-ass chick that I've dated or hung out with or talked to, my chivalry becomes less and less and less and less. But see, the fucked up thing is this. You chicks, you crazy-ass chicks, ruin it for the good ones. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to meet a really cool chick and treat her like dirt. And I'm going to treat her like dirt. Because I've been treated like dirt. But this is but this is my point. When people are looking to make things equal, they it's odd. They never they say they say they want to bring you or bring them to your level. But really what ends up happening is they're bringing you to theirs. And they may not be the, the fact that they don't even like their level is is proof positive. This goes further with um the big argument right now with health care and providing, you know, national health care and all that bullshit. It, it, it's the progressive argument. Really, here's what it is, guys. Here's what it is. Progressives, Democrats, Democratic progressives, these people, they seem like they're for the poor. They seem like they're there to help the poor. They give them programs, give them stuff to, to make them feel better. But here's what it is. It's fundamental. You have to understand this, guys. They don't... Like, a Republican won't... You know, a right-wing person will help you. But they're not trying to give you handouts. But, here's the difference in philosophies, and this is what it is, and this is the argument. A Democrat wants to make you happy at being poor. Comfortable with poverty. They want to make you as comfortable as possible at being poor and make sure you never ever ever move up and stay completely dependent on them they don't want you to go beyond being poor because they're not poor they don't want you anywhere near them frankly you sicken them below the surface now on the other side of things the, the other philosophy is they don't want to give you handouts because they don't want you to be comfortable with being poor they don't want the poor to be happy. And that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Why wouldn't you want the poor to be happy? Because they don't want you to be poor. If you're happy with your life at being poor, and we don't mean happy with your family and your your loved ones. We mean generally happy. You know, we don't mean that type of happy. We mean happy that you're living in a shack. You know what I'm trying to say? That type of happy. If you're not happy with where you're at, you may try to do something and it may motivate you to rise above. Right? And it's this spirit of ingenuity and rising above that has made America and American entrepreneurship the top, you know, the best in the world. It's the American machine of ingenuity. Because look at, for example, look at, let's look at Mayor Bloomberg. That motherfucker started out poor as a joke. Very, very poor. And he was almost, a, I think he was almost like a bum on the street. He made his fortune from nothing and the hard work of the ground up. Now his philosophy is a little too extreme in my opinion. You know, being poor himself, 
there's two ways you could go about treating the poor if you were once poor and then filthy rich. One, you know what it's like to be them and you're going to try to help them out to rise and try to help them. Or two, you know what it's like to be them so there's no excuse for them at all because you used to be one of them. And that's Bloomberg's attitude on the poor. He's like, yeah, I used to be you and I pulled myself out without any help. What the fuck is your excuse? And that's a hard nose line. I'm not advocating that. But this is all I'm trying to say. Is Robert. Yeah. Take a drink. I should take a drink. Is that uh, tech, basically that's the general argument. So you make people happy at being poor, they'll never be rich. Make people miserable at being poor, and there's a chance that they could be rich. I'm not poor. No. And I'm still trying to get rich. Yeah, but you have drive. And I'm going to die trying, motherfuckers. That's right. But you have drive. And that's that's the whole point. Now, uh, let's see what else is going on. All right, we we in debt. <laughs> we in debt. We in debt up to our ass. So we owe China our lives. Dude, dude. We owe China this couch. If China say, hey, I want your couch. Face show. We want your fucking couch. We got to give it to him. We got to give him the couch. Nah, we nah, got to nah, give him the couch. Wait, wait, wait. Here's something crazy, right? So when Obama was over there asking for money, my ass, he wasn't asking for money, folks. Ch he only visits China when he... China's the bank. <laughs> you only visit the bank when you're trying to get money. Make a withdrawal, right? He ain't making no deposits. We didn't make any money. So <laughs> we just printed. We don't make it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, China turned him down. China treats Obama like a fucking child. Do you know he made a speech on their TV? Do you know he was, uh, he was edited and blocked by them so that his speech didn't go out? Really? Or parts of his speech didn't go out because he said stuff. He said stuff that was like, oh, free this and free that. And you know what? On China. On China, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention something, people people upset me about, cause uh, it, it, you know what, we I'm gonna go a little little on a tangent, cause that's what we do here on the show. That's what we do. All right, this is about oil and this is about China and this is about the fucking pussies in in America. You know, you hear that slogan, we can't drill our way out of this this oil energy crisis. Right, right. Can't drill our way. That's a nice slogan. For somebody who doesn't have oil. Like fucking Tahiti. Tahiti doesn't have oil. I don't even know what country Tahiti's in. If it's a country or a part of it, it doesn't even matter. Tahiti, that's an island. That's, no, no, it's an island. But that's, Caribbean, maybe? No, I know where it is. That, I'm just saying, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Who owns it? Yeah, exactly. Somebody owned that motherfucker. Tahiti. Fess up! But my point is, because if Tahiti's part of America, it makes me look stupid at this point. But yeah, my saying right. is... America like has oil. A shitload of oil. We just don't tap it. And this this goes back to China. China. We have how much oil off the Florida coast and we don't tap it? Now, the Democrats have blocked people from tapping it. Who's tapping that oil? China. Why? Because China's tapping it in the international water section. Getting, because all the oil's connected. So they're just putting their straw in over here. Where, look, look, you can't see them putting the straw in over here, but you can see Clearly, my arm is attached to something, putting that straw on. You get what I'm saying? And it's because the environmentalists, right? They're going to say, well, we don't want to mess up ocean life. You know, the spilling, and we don't want to disrupt the ecosystem of the marine. Now, I'm not for fucking up the environment. Do it as clean as possible, in my opinion. But America has regulations. They have stipulations. And I'm not trying to sound like Reverend Al Sharpton here, but m my point is that if we were to tap that oil, there would be overseers, committees, people watching this going down, groups out there of Americans that are environmentalists that will sound that whistle if they fuck up. China doesn't have shit. There's nobody watching China. And they're going to do it. So here's the net result of America being a pussy. As for you environmentalists, the environmental, uh, the environment is still getting fucked up. Only ten times worse than it would be had we been doing it. And since we're not doing it, our economy is still not getting better. But it, ch but China's economy is still going the fuck up. Go green, go green. You know what? And here's the other thing. Not all the green points are bad. But guess what, guys? You argue over the stupidest bullshit, 
and you're going to lose people. You had people. Right now, people came with you on green. They were like, all right, we finally see the light. Captain Planet's the man. Let's save the planet. We're with you. Then they find out global warming's bullshit. I mean, we've been saying that the whole time. And you lied about it. Face show been campaigning for global warming being bullshit. bullshit. And, it, and oh my god, it's true. Whoa, and right. oh, it's just crazy, motherfuckers. Oh. But but this is this is what I'm saying. And other shit like that, people, you know. And then they 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 they're going with you on these things, but you're blocking it because here's something, and it's 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 an idea. It's a it's a misconcept of logic, bro. See if you follow this. The environmentalist, the ultimate goal of a progressive environmentalist is. Hell, I've seen reports that say the planet is better off if we're dead, right? Because of carbon, and again, right. carbon's not pollution. But whatever, carbon emissions and all that bullshit. <laughs> Fucking breathing. God, God, God's own pollution, right? Of God's evil trick. Yeah, exactly. You exhale. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Stupid but fucks. here's here's what it is. They assume humans aren't in nature. And the things humans do are unnatural. The humans themselves are not a part of nature. Thus, everything they do is unnatural. Except, you fucking idiots, what are we? We're life forms. Carbon based life forms on a carbon planet full of other carbon based. I'm going to say carbon a lot because that's what we're made of on planet Earth. We just happen to be the superior form of life. But, we are a part of nature. Your premise starts off with we're not, which is wrong, because the things we do, everything we do, is nature, bro, because we are a part of nature, and we're a natural life form. That means the unnatural shit we create is created by a natural force, you stupid fucks. Oh, shit, did I just blow your fucking mind with that? That little chunk of logic? Every, when an ant builds a colony... Right? They make structures that make that make New York City look pale in comparison in the scope, depth, and size some of these ant colonies. Scales, of course. They just have a bigger earth to play with because they're tiny. Does the shit they make unnatural? Is a beehive considered unnatural? No! It's considered part of nature. But it's created by something in nature. Is a dam built by beavers considered unnatural? No! It's considered part of nature. You stupid fucks. Humans are part of nature, too. The things we do is part of nature. You dumb, dumb, dumb motherfuckers. And that is my rant on the environment. Yes, we should be considerate. Yes, we shouldn't pollute with real pollutants like harmful chemicals. Yes, we should be guardians of the planet. But no! Not everything we do is wrong. And yes, we are a part of nature. And until you get that into your heads, you will never see that you're going too far on the issue and you're going to lose everybody like you're losing them right now. That is my rant on the environment. That, you know, sometimes you got to rant. Sometimes you got to do it. You, you take a drink, though. You're getting yeah. parched. You're getting parched, though. You're getting a cotton man. Go ahead, take a drink. And that was my rage on that. Oh. And uh, you know what? We forgot to mention last time. Copenhagen, yeah. Copenhagen. Speaking of going green, let's talk on a subject called climate control. Climate control. Yeah. And Al Gore. That the original true believer turned evil genius mastermind. Because he, he became a billionaire off of it. He did, but you know what? Al I'm Gore, you're still an asshole. Yeah. Listen, listen, I got it, Al. I don't blame you like some of the others do. I get it. At first, you were a true believer. You were all about it. You, st you started campaigning for it, and then it made you a lot of money during the way. And you're not an idiot. So you started forming this empire based on global warming. But until recently, all the science had been in. And the science you didn't like either wasn't getting told to you, or you were ignoring and order pe and other people were ordering the cover up. Because somehow you all got together and found out that, hey, we can fucking do what we want under the guise of climate change. But now the science is in and it turns out global warming is just a part of nature and a natural cycle. 
And guys, guess part of my previous statement, even if we were causing part of it, we're a part of nature. And uh, polar bears are not dying. I don't know why people keep saying they They multiply two to five times in the past ten years. There's 20,000 20, polar bears. Did you, two did to you, five. Two I to five times. I saw something on a, on a show the other day that said... Mount Kilimanjaro, melting. No. 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 It, it would have to go over 32 degrees for it to fucking melt. It so varies It varies two to five degrees on a, on a, on a weekly basis. Two to five degrees is still well below the freezing level. And it's melting. And it's natural for the ice on those mountains to melt and then regrow. That's natural. Natural. Do you know uh, it, um, on the mountain in Turkey, where they, this is going to go a little religious here, but I'm using this as a point of freezing here. Ozana on the highest. Where they found Noah's Ark. Because, you know, Noah, they found Noah's Ark. It's in Turkey. But uh, back in the day, the mount, when the mountain is fully frozen, you can't see Noah's Ark because the ice covers it, right? During certain summer years, oh, secular yeah. years, like you have to wait like 10 years for oh, it to be that warm, it'll melt and then you can see the ark. Oh, Interesting note though, in one man's lifetime, this this guy, was a, when he was a boy, um, remember seeing the ark with, with his father because he lives in the village that's at the basin of the mountain. And uh, with his father, he even brought a piece back of the ark with him. But as his father, with the, you know, he remembers as a, a little boy that the ark was together. Now, with the last time they visited the ark about a few years ago, the ark has been split in halves. So in one person's lifetime, something that's been there five, eight thousand, ten thousand years is now split in half. How crazy is that? In one lifetime, the ark has been broken. If that's not a sign of we're living at the end of the world. Uh, the thing that saved the last group of people just got broken in half in one person's lifetime? I don't know. That's crazy. I gotta be honest. I don't think it's the Ark. I've the, seen pictures. I don't think it's the official Ark. I've seen pictures. It might be a big fucking boat. On, on the top I, don't think it's, I don't think it's the but Ark. It, you know, well, either way, it's on top of a giant mountain nowhere near the ocean. <laughs> but covered in ice. Uh, there must have been water there at some point. Whoop. But, uh, yeah, so at Copenhagen, they're going to vote on this. The Congress. UN is yeah. going to vote on this. Now, what, what is this going to do? They, what What is this Copenhagen, th this, sh this, this bullshit that they're trying to they're get They're trying signed, to get this treaty this, signed. This treaty signed. Now, what's it going to do? What's it going to do well, let me for the world? Let me explain something. They're going to officially list... Obviously, it's going to be the big cap. Remember what cap and trade is? Think of that. But if they made it really evil, like it's pretty evil. Now let's let's put it globally and really make it evil. And this is what we're going to say. This is what they're going to do. They're going to say that the carbon emissions are killing the planet and causing global warming, fossil fuels, American lifestyle, taking a shit on a Tuesday. Taking a shit on a Tuesday, you might get a fine. Hell. Okay. What was the estimate? Just them meeting produced more than like half the country, half the, of the shittier countries in South America's annual export of, of fossil fuels. No, we didn't say year. developing nations. Fuck you. Yeah, and your politically correctness. Now, uh, I'm just, yeah, but but let let's just put it like that. So these because Muslim extremist Are is terrorist. Oh, oh my God. Oh. But 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 here's what it is. And this, this let's break this down. So they're gonna say that this is a catastrophe, and we all must sign a treaty to make the Kyoto Protocols look like fucking shit next to it. So here's what the treaty's gonna do. We're going to globally enforce uh, uh, emissions of carbon di monox uh, dioxide. Excuse me, the things we breathe in every form of life that that's around the planet that this encompasses. But then you're going to say to yourself, how are they going to do such a thing? Who's going to monitor other countries? How is that even possible, Cody? How can, who, who's this new group that's going to globally police the planet on this? That, that has to have laws above a, a country's laws, making countries into states. That sounds like they need some sort of countries into states. That means the states together would be a new country. A global government? Are they going to need a global government? 
Well, yes, that's in the treaty, too. They thought of everything. A global government? Oh, What's next? Green Lantern. Uh, Green Lantern, everything comes full circle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> everything comes full uh, circle. Episode it. 5, 6, Green Lantern, we were talking about the Green Lantern. Albert wasn't crazy like everybody fucking thought he was, okay? But it's true. It's making sense. It's that, all making sense, ladies that, and gentlemen. That. It's all tying together. The real evil Green Lantern. Now, now, but wait a minute. Who's get, Nobody listens to the U.N., because the UN has a peacekeeping force, but they're not a real military. They can't go into places. So then they must need some sort of armed force, like an army. They must need some sort of army to enforce this That's new... Right. Oh, they're going to need an army. Now, how are they going to get authority for this? Why? Well, they, they're going to need a gun. They, they're going to need weapons and an army. So this global government is going to have a global army. Well, wait, wait! I almost forgot. This, this, we're going too fast now. We're going too fast. Government, army, who's, who's gonna pay for all of this? Mm. Wait a minute. Surely you not the shitty countries. No. And as a matter of fact, according to the protocols, there needs to be social justice, eco social justice needs to be applied because we have to share the wealth because it's our fault. That's right. For so, being so basically, let, let me. What they're saying is that any economical strain that converting over to the climate control regulations passed by a third country, third world country, shitty, shitty nation, okay, is is our fault for being the is, first. Is our fault, okay, and we have to pick up. Their, their economic slack Beca because we've been larger countries because it's not fair that the shittier countries that we've been polluting with evil evil natural gases for so long we I mean think about it we've been an industrialized nation for 200 years almost right true yeah, yeah. so or well I mean not 200 years but at least 100 and uh, 110 120 years so it's we and we've been that industrial nation the longest and we're probably the biggest so we owe all these developing nations a carbon debt that we have to pay back because they weren't as good as we were when we were good retroactive carbon debt too Ooh. billions and billions and trillions of dollars are going to be funded by the biggest polluter who's the biggest polluter on the planet of natural gases other than China who's not signing the treaty they're not even going India yeah they're not signing that shit either oh so how is this supposed to work if the two largest but wait, two out of the three largest that's fine they're don't sign em. that's fine there are other empires how's it supposed to work but wait a minute oh it's not but oh. but well, this is not about saving the planet this is about taking control oh, of the planet oh that's right you know the new Roman Empire this is about that's rebuilding right. the new Roman Empire so wait a minute Wait a minute. Uh, and Russia's not the Soviet Union anymore. They're a smaller country. Right. So when you take the three, three of those three other large countries out of the equation, because Russia will sign it, but they're not big anymore. True. They're made up of a bunch of smaller countries with the Soviet Union. So who's the largest nation on the planet then? Other than those guys we just mentioned? That is going to sign the treaty? Oh, say can Oh, you see? fuck! That's us! By the dawn's early light. But wait a minute. What so proudly we held by the twilight's last now, now, here's something else. It gets worse. If we sign this, we acknowledge the global authority as above U.S. courts, meaning we give away our sovereignty. But wait, it gets worse. The only way out of the treaty is for the other nations to let you out, mafia style. They have to vote and let you out. And if you're paying all the bills, why in the fuck would they let you out of this contract? So that's what it states, folks. It is Copenhagen. Evil, and it's going on right now. The Face Show is not campaigning for Copenhagen. No. I will tell you that right the fuck now. We're campaigning for the shutdown of Copenhagen. Uh, they're they're there. Down they're there right now. But luckily, public opinion all over the world, um, 
it's, we're about to get definitely. shut down on the show here. We've been going for 40 minutes now. We got we got another two minutes. I would just like minutes. to wrap up one thing real quick on, yeah. the, on the Tiger Woods story. I want everybody to learn the lesson here, okay? And the lesson is, and and this is the model for 2010, ladies and gentlemen. Hoes get paid, okay? So you either pay them ahead of time, okay, we're to after. keep their mouth shut. Or you pay them a lot more money after to keep their mouth yeah. shut. And that's but how you do it. Hoes get paid. Now, not now. You know what? You know what? Real fast, real fast on entertainment. Since he brought up Green Lantern, yo, still the hottest thing in DC comics right now is Blackest Night. They gave out all the other rings. Remember my ring from the other episode? All the other rings came out. Go get it. It's the hottest shit right now in comics. But I'm telling you about the next thing. The next hottest thing in comics. It's uh, it's gonna be the the uh, World War Hulks is it's the big thing in Marvel there's something else going on in Marvel right now but I'm gonna tell you this is gonna trump it and make the other shit look small in comparison because the Hulk writing has been good they've gotten back to being good and it's gonna be crazy that's the next thing I'm telling you first so you heard it here first that the next big thing in comics is gonna be that cause you know what green green is in no matter how you slice it go, pick that, up. go pick that up you know, the see, I'm not all against Green Green Lantern and, and the fucking Green Hulk. There you go. Actually, Red Hulk's gangster. But uh, go do that. Go do that. We got we got like t two minutes left, maybe. So um, on that note, man, I will tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna try to do another one of these episodes. We're getting close to episode ten. Ridiculous things gonna happen episode ten. And you've seen a lot of crazy shit. We may even put a little compilation together. That's right. That's right. right. We uh, might do it. For might 2010, do it. we're going to put the 09 series together. Yeah, all the episodes. Season 09. Season 09. And uh, we're going to... We will have the, la the ladies will be back on the show. We're at least going to have nine in 09. So there will be one more episode. It will be a Christmas special. You don't want to miss it. it. It's going to be crazy. There's going to be a Christmas rent. That's Even right. if it happens after Christmas. I don't That's right. It. It may, you know, I have to work this know. Christmas. How sucky is that? On um, Christmas Day? On um, Christmas Day. Dude, that's fucked up. But I get New Year's Day off. And I got Thanksgiving You know, my brother, said, my brother said he's an atheist. So he said he didn't want to celebrate Christmas. So I said, what the fuck does religion have to do with Christmas anymore? <laughs> that guy. Oh, and that's going to be the subject of my big rant. You're going to... You atheists out there, you're going to fucking hear it. And it's going to be brutal. It's going to be to the point. You guys aren't even going to know what to... Because I don't understand why people don't put you in the place. In your place. And this goes to evolutionists. This goes to atheists. It's... Scientologists. It's just all this stupidity. Because I'm going to break it down to you. Because I really don't care what you believe in. But your arguments against other people's belief doesn't hold water. If you don't believe in anything if the, your belief is nothing just nothing nothing and my belief is something and you think I'm wrong which you're entitled to believe I'm wrong what the fuck you're not supposed to agree with me right you, you could think I'm wrong then how do you even get an opinion if I want to hear that shit or if somebody tells you that shit if you don't even think it matters what does it even matter if your kids get taught it dude you just said like a bunch of stuff. Just that, that like it's not didn't even really make sense. No, yeah, it does. But it was a bunch of stuff. No, no, it does make sense. What I'm saying is, if you believe in nothing and that's your belief, you're gonna have to explain that. Well, I on will. The Christmas episode. On the Christmas episode. But what I'm saying is, if you believe in nothing, is your foundation, and you think you could do it yourself, that's fine. I'm with you. Believe in nothing. But then it doesn't matter if everybody else believes something. So the argument that, oh, you're trying to teach my kids Christianity, or you're trying to teach my kids Muslims, or whatever the fuck your, your priorities is, really doesn't matter, does it? Because you're getting a little too deep at the end of the show. I know, but I'm, I'm, this is food for People thought. People want to hear about tits and ass. I know, I got a little, a little, a little bit. I, I, we're going to run out of time any time now. It's getting close. We should have ran out of time two minutes ago. I don't understand why it's still going. Uh, maybe it's 48 minutes in an episode. 48 minutes in an episode? Dude, we've never gone 48 minutes in a fucking maybe episode. Maybe it's 46 minutes? We have to be running close to 10, 9, Holy 8. Holy crap. 
I'd like to make an announcement. My band, Fallen From Grace, is looking for a bassist. Anybody in the Westchester, Putnam, Duchess, New York area. You know how to get a hold of us. You got some fucking groove. You think you can fucking hang? Give me a fucking shout out on the email, on the Facebook, on the MySpace. Whoa, now what happened Let to your bassist? He bounce? Yeah. Yeah, you know, he did. He couldn't. He couldn't hang. So, uh... Yeah, you know, we had scheduling and... You know. Ah, uh, that's not cool. See, every time you get close, man, why do people have to be flaky? I don't know. Oh, man, New Year's is going to be sick, too. Looking forward to 010. This decade is done. How does that make you feel, folks? I know how it makes me feel. And I get a warm feeling right here in my heart. I get a warm feeling right here. For the future, bitches. You know, where the fuck are our flying cars? That'll never happen. The world will end before we get flying cars. I mean, I, I thought I seen that shit in the 70s and then nothing. But, you know... But you, at least we have planes. And they sort of drive on land for a second. Close. Alright, come on, man. This this is ridiculous. This What is this, not going to end? I don't know. I just, you know... I hope it ends soon, because I'm tired of talking to these motherfuckers out there. Nah, this will end sh shortly. They had, we we don't go much longer than this. I don't really have anything more to say yeah. to these people. I really don't. I mean, I could get going, but I, I don't have time to get going. You might not have time. Uh, all right. Anybody watch that show, The Jersey Shore? You watch that show, The Jersey nah, Shore, with all the yet. fucking leftover guidos? Everybody used to dress and act like that in, like, 1998, 1999. You know what I'm saying? With the blowouts. Uh, That's when it first came out. And, like, these little fucking loser leftover kids. I gotta be honest with you. The kid Vinny on the show is the only one I fucking hang out with. All the rest of them insist upon themselves. They're all a bunch of fucking losers, and they give Italians a bad name. Okay? And the girls on that show are fucking dog it's ugly. Coming. You look like a bunch no. of pigs. Okay? And, and like, I gotta be honest with you. Like, I wouldn't even hug you, let alone kiss any of you. Well, you know what I was gonna say? The, uh, the sub Mr. Fox, the fantastic Mr. Fox, like a Tarantino film. It's, it's weird. Don't take your kid to see it, or you could. Not for the, it. They'll be confused. You go see it, drink some beers, smoke some herb, or whatever the fuck you people do. Whatever you do out there in Cali. But, uh, hey, that's for you. But, uh, I don't care. Go see that movie. It's hilarious on the adult level. It's not on the kid level. And it is going to go to 48 minutes, so we have another 30 seconds. My last announcement of the night, ladies and gentlemen, I was moving to California. We were going to end the face show. We were at 10. We were going to end the face show. I am not leaving for California. And that is your last with word. That, we will see you at Christmas. Good night. The face show. We're done.